Hi there, I hope you're doing well. Lately, I have been painting quite a lot of buildings and houses in my sketchbook and I really like to experiment with them because you learn a lot about which colors are effective to use, how you will blend them and how you're able to add shadows and highlights. So I will paint this marvelous building in the city. It used to be a museum, but now it's part of an art school. The other building that I will draw and paint is one of the towers of our national museum that is located in Amsterdam. I already sketched this first building and I'm starting with the first layer of paint. I use my Himi gouache palette and I use different brownish shades to fill the shapes. In the beginning, there is always going to be this ugly stage where you have no idea whether your painting will end up looking good and you're just adding different layers until you are a little bit satisfied. The nice thing about gouache is that it dries pretty quickly, but you are also able to re-wet the paint by adding water, plus you can easily remove mistakes by painting on top of the mistakes, if you know what I mean. This building is pretty complex in real life, that's why I decided to only paint one part of it. I think what can really help is to have a look at buildings when you are walking through a city because you can easily see which part should be in the sun and which part is in the shadows. And that way you get an idea of which colors to use and whether you should use darker or lighter colors. I would definitely recommend studying a couple of buildings. It will eventually help you in the painting process. I am adding a pretty blue sky and since there is quite a lot of space left on this page, I also decided to paint a really big tree. I did that by first adding a dark green shape and adding leaves on top of it. To finish it all, I use a couple of colored pencils to add some more shadows and details. And that is the result of this first spread. And now on to the next one. I use a geo triangle to draw straight lines. The reason why I sketch beforehand is more or less because I would like to know how much space I need. It is totally optional to draw all the details here. I think it is actually a waste of time to draw everything since you are not able to see my pencil lines anymore once I have added paint, but it's up to you how detailed you would like your sketch to be. I do know that it's important once you have started adding paint that you should not worry about details in the beginning stage. First, it's really all about the rough work and after that you can add those really tiny drawings with the small brush. Chances are that you will probably want to change something about your painting once you are already halfway there and at that point it's easier to do that once you haven't quite been caught up in details yet. I absolutely adore this red brownish shade. I think it also looks gorgeous next to this mustard yellow and so I already like this painting. But as you can see, my pencil lines are more or less gone by now and that is why I mentioned that a detailed sketch beforehand is really not necessary if you already have a clear idea of what you want to make. To finish it all, I am adding a blue background and after that it's time to remove the masking tape. Although this was a pretty short video, I hope you have learned something about painting buildings with gouache. Do not forget to study buildings once you are surrounded by many, in a city for example. And if you have any questions about these creations, do not hesitate to ask me. Talk to you soon. Bye bye!